So here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do. So tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well, and puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed for him to become the champion. And tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akasha. And we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for Akasha tonight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, H.I.J. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Her Dean, our referee for this one. Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice connection with the punch and the clinch. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Yet another huge kick lands. Early round one action here, and just like that, he gets him to the ground. Feels like a pretty significant moment here early, champ. I mean, it's no secret what this guy wants to do. This guy wants to take you down and he wants to grind you out. He got the takedown early. Let's see how long he can control this position and what amount of damage can he inflict on his opponent. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. You gotta be careful here. Excellent ground and pound there by Islam Akasha. 
Lands a big elbow there. Makashev's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. That's it. That's the end of the fight. It's got to be. Yeah, Paige and Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel Chopatel. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Islam Makashev. This is where he wants to be. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Akasha. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Islam Makasha. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, good ground and pound here. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Five minutes in the books. Take a seat. Deep breath. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better with your all right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready, from the top position. Ready. All right, round two. Leg kick lands. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Big right hook there by the champ. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's setting up an arm bar now. Oh, he's advancing. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Ooh, that looks tight. Good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Now he's got to be very patient as he moves to the next attacking arm bar. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, nice jab up top by Islam Makhachev. Oh, 
trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Listen to Three deep breaths into that nose. Out to that mouth. All right. Perfect round. I need you to go out there and do All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 53 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, so there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And when you're taking on lightweight number one contender types and knocking them out like this, just scary to think just how high the ceiling is for this young man. Lightweight.